Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to another episode of the, uh, yeah, not got, now got, The Found World of Manchester City. Of course, inspired by this wonderful book that we do a little features on as well uh, by Derek Hammond and Gary Silky. The got, not got, The Lost World of Manchester City. So I'll go out and find stuff that perhaps was never lost. It was always there, but we, we never actually had it. So uh, yeah, I go out and bid on auction sites. So I'll just buy direct some, some old memorabilia. So I just share a little opening of it with you here live on camera. I've got little five little, well, three little packages and two big packages today to actually go through. So join me as we open these little city treats and see what's in there. Please, if you're new to this channel, push that subscribe button. If you enjoy it, please push that notification button so you know when these vlogs are coming out. Of course, I do City Pass, City Present, quizzes, uh, magazine vlogs, stuff like this. Loads, loads of stuff for all you City fans out there. And if you know any City fans who uh, are not aware of this little site at the moment, if you can point them in my direction, I'll be very grateful. Get them to sub as well. That'll be even better. Fantastic. And you will see on my uh, playlist stuff for film and TV channel as well. I'm very greedy. I do a little film and TV thing as well for uh, film reviews, drama reviews, information blogs on film and TV as well so if that's of any interest or you know someone who might be interested please point them in my direction as well but if you're not that bothered about that just plenty of this football stuff of course uh, all about Manchester City and uh, please if you want to follow or friend me on Facebook and Twitter I do check every three or four days and make sure that I follow and friend everyone back on there as well so post loads of stuff on there and I try and like and repost stuff for people as well all comments very welcome about this anything any memorabilia you buy anything you keep your eye out for i'm buying lots a little bit more at the moment obviously i've uh, obviously like anything like anything if, if i've got a little bit more pennies to spend I'll, I'll buy a little bit more if i'm a bit tight on the money i'll sort of not spend as much so it's it's just one of those things at the moment i'm just sort of perhaps buying a bit more expensive things now it used to be obviously i had limits but uh, if there's something i really want i'll go out and buy it so uh, anyway join me for this and please if you can give any thumbs up is great if you can't leave us a comment on this just give us a thumbs up that'd be fantastic as well Right, well, we've got the packages. Let's have a look and show you the big pack of they are. So, so, so like Christmas, isn't it? Got, so we've got three little ones. Do the three little ones first and a couple of big ones there. So I've got the three, three little ones there. I've got my pair of scissors. That's all we need for this. Well, sometimes sometimes you don't need a pair of scissors. Obviously, like a little envelope like this. You wouldn't need a sort of envelope, would you, with that? Let's have a look at the first one. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I saw this. I was... Uh, I have no idea. It's a, it's a postcard. Obviously, it's probably produced quite new. I've done just recently done a players thing on this as well, and it's a postcard. The players and staff welcome your season card renewals. Let's march forward together. So it's like for 1932-33, obviously with uh, Matt Busby there. So I did a player feature on him recently, but uh, that just took my eye. I don't know when it's produced. I don't have any date on it. The the fine art of football, vintage football posters collection. So it's been reproduced. So it's fairly modern. It's obviously not not from the time, but uh, I think that's great. Obviously with the season ticket things from 1932-33 as well. So I saw that. I'd say this sort of thing. I wasn't. I wouldn't pay more than say. A one pound fifty for it, something like that. But I just thought it was nice to say it's it's not old as such, but it's just uh, commemorating something that is old. You know, it's it's fantastic. So certainly with Matt Busby on it as well. It's great, uh, great image there. Well, that was good. On to the next one. Some scissors for this one. Go. So that's what official merchandise of mancity.com. Yeah, so it's a supporter banner. There you go. I've never had one of these before. A supporter banner. If you not something I'd but I just got it because I thought, well, I've not seen this before, so what what's it entail, sort of thing. You know, what what is it? Because I've certainly not seen anyone holding them up at the game. It's like a an armband thing, isn't it? Um <laughs> I don't know what you do with this, to be honest with you. There must be a way of doing it, but uh, that's the thing, opening it live, I haven't worked out how, how you do it, so, or how it's done, or whatever, I have no idea. There we go, the instructions are inside. So you put it on your arm and hold it. I mean, have you seen anyone at the Etihad doing this? I mean, <laughs> I certainly haven't, I have no idea how it works. 
There's all the instructions in different languages. Well, there's what it looks like. There's there's what it there's what it looks like when it's finished. <laughs> but I have not got a I haven't got a clue how to how to do it. I mean, obviously. Oh, there we go. I've sorted it. It's not as not as hard as I thought. So obviously. Oh, I mean, there we go. What fantastic. <laughs> Come on, City. I've never seen that before in my life. Have you seen anyone the Etsy had with one of these? I think I'll take it next time and have a, have a, bit, a bit of fun with it. But uh, that's fantastic, I say. It's a, it's a modern bit of memorabilia, isn't it? It's not an old bit of memorabilia, but uh, yeah, that's super. I love that. <laughs> that's great. I mean, I didn't, it, took me, it took me about half an hour to figure out how to do it, but uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm glad I bought that. You know, that's medium large that one I don't know but uh, yeah I must admit I'll have to keep my eyes open and see if anyone's got any of them at the FCI. I must I've never said if you let me know in the comments if you if you've got one or if you've seen anyone do one of those I thought that was quite funny that interesting uh, <laughs> on to this little one now Uh, yeah, here we go. I get these from time to time. The little, you know, the little card, cigarette card sort of things that, that you can get. Um, and sometimes you, you, can, you can pay quite a lot of money for them. But as long as it's, say, a quid or something, I, I don't mind. And we've got uh, Churchill, Churchman's Cigarettes here. And we've got, uh, obviously, Peter Doherty, Manchester City. Uh, it's Peter Doherty, yeah, Peter. Dermot Doherty, Manchester City's inside forward, is one of the best players produced in Irish football for many years. Born at Coleraine, he played for Glen Torren, transferred to Blackpool in November 1933. At the age of 20, in February 1936, he moved to Manchester City and was the fourth player to command a fee of £10,000. He did not play for Ireland before leaving home, but since 1935 he's been a first choice and he ranks as one of the best inside lefts in the four countries. Altogether, he's now has eight caps to his credit, having played four times against England and twice against Scotland and Wales. Peter Doherty. Fantastic. There you go, a little image of... Uh, of the football as i say these are just the uh i think that it's it's so sort of, that's quite a new feel to it again i mean i've have a tendency to feel that's a reproduction as well but uh, it's just nice to have isn't it i mean it's just uh and there's your sort of description on the back of peter doherty i mean yeah, you used to get a lot on a little bit of paper didn't you a lot a lot of uh interesting information on there for you as well but uh that's fantastic great image though isn't it i mean it's like it's also always doing a rugby kick lots of doing a kick between the posts doesn't it fantastic the sort of player i'd probably do a play a profile on uh, at some stage let me just clear these away now because obviously this these next two are quite big so i do have an idea of what these are sometimes i forget like those i forgot what they were but uh, some of these things i do sort of remember what they are because obviously they, how can you not remember something you buy that's, uh, that, that's this big sort of thing i mean i have a more I, I couldn't tell you what it is now um but I know what it, I know what the base of it is, and I, I know what it could be. I don't want to wreck the box here as I'm doing it. But I've never opened one of these on this. These I've done quite a few episodes of these now, and it's, it's something. I thought, oh, I'll have a look at these. I'll start. Might do a little feature on them in the future. Um, can you guess guess where it is yet? Um, obviously, there's some that are linked to City, some that are just like links to a lot of football clubs, but obviously are, are then actually adapted. To, to certain football clubs depending who they are so i mean you've got there we go so it's uh, obviously city orientated you may have something like this yourself but say it's nothing something i've never really got i don't think i've got any as you know i used to do things on board games with my uh, film and tv channel I used to do a board game feature as well but uh, i have problems with cameras at the moment so i can't really do any at the moment but uh, so this sort of inspired me to go out and have a look at stuff like this and it's the Manchester City football trivia game. There you go. I mean, uh, Manchester City, I don't know what year it's set. I'll have a look at what year it is. See uh, what year it goes up to. Well, there's a the box. There you go. There's a the box there. All about football. So you think you know everything there's to know about Manchester City? Well, now here's your chance to prove it. You'll either dazzle your mates with your knowledge of the beautiful game or prove you still have loads to learn. Yeah, so it's uh, 2000, just so I see there's a date on it, there's a sort of date anywhere that gives us an idea of what date it's going to be up to. Copyright 2006, so anything up to, obviously before City existed, isn't it this? Uh, <laughs> so anything up to like the first couple of seasons at the, at the Etihad Stadium, let's have a quick look inside. I 
fairly fairly new. It's not brand new, but it's sadly been used. Uh, there you go, and there's your board. Fantastic image of a board there. All about football, penalty shootout, rules and discipline. So it's like a, a good trivia game. I think I think this probably is adapted to other teams as well. And Martin Tyler, well, I don't really, really don't want to see him do it particularly. Uh, your counters, obviously. Uh, it's up to six players. Dice with minus one, one for goal scoring, stuff like that. So it's the sort of thing I'll cover in a future thing. I'll do a little... Uh, have a look up. Let's have a look at one of the questions. See how, how difficult they are. All about football. The Manchester City football trivia game. Who captained Manchester City in the first Premier League season in ninety two ninety three? I have no idea. Keith Curl. Of course it is. Yeah, you knew that, didn't I? I'm, I'm useless. Which player, having left City, won Premiership medals in England and Scotland with Blackburn Rovers and, and Rangers? I think that's Mr. Colin Hendry, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Uh, Winger Steve Kinsey left Main Road in October 1986 to join which American team? No idea. Minnesota Kicks. There you go. Up until the end of 2005-06, which two players, I think this is general knowledge on football as well, which two players hold the record, the longest suspension in the Premiership? Eric Cantona and Rio Ferdinand, both were banned for eight months. So, naughty boys. Which club did Manchester City beat 6-0 in a League Cup game in September 1974 to, to set a record score in the competition? Yeah, Scumthorpe United. There you go. So fantastic. So, got all them. Look at them. All them questions there. Fantastic. So that's uh, looks like a really good fun game. That I mean, it's the sort of thing we could have a little quiz on ourselves, couldn't we? But uh, there you go. The foot Manchester City trivia game. As long as you know your city stuff up to about two thousand and five, two thousand four, two thousand five. But that's uh, absolutely fantastic. We could have lots of fun with that, couldn't we? All about football. Yeah. So whether they produced it for other clubs as well, I'm not too sure. Well, that was really good. So that's one. So you might have a clue as to this might be something similar, might it? Obviously, we'll have a look at what this one is. Yeah, if I do do a board game thing on, on City, obviously, uh, I'll probably start with something like that and just see how it plays, how it plays out, etc. And I say these these things you can get on the internet still. Although there's not many many about, you know, you, it's very hard to get hold of some of them. Let's have a look what this one is. A game of skill, judgment, tactical five-a-side game. There we go. Conquer the shooting zone. That sounds good, doesn't it? Soccer Supremo, it's called, this one. I used to like a good old football game. I used to play Wembley. And remember Wembley in the old days? I bought a Wembley once and City weren't in it. You actually had to make your own little card and put City in it because they weren't in it. Soccer Supremo. You probably... You might have these, you might have bought some of these if you've got kids and stuff for your, for your, own, for your own lot, couldn't you? There we go, the Manchester FC Soccer Supremo board game, absolutely fantastic. So bring bringing back memories for some of you, bet you got this, like what year this was from. the board let's have, a, let's have a playing pitch it'd be great if it's a playing pitch wouldn't it i like things oh yes this is what we want this is what i like fantastic look at that absolutely superb <laughs> hey that's what we want Any, anything with a football pitch and I'm, I'm sold and you've got a shooting zone a lot of shooting zone so yeah i mean obviously if you're a big fan you should love super beauty in the old days there's nothing like that of course but uh a board, a ball, ten players, two green, four blue and four red, two dice, six shooting cards. As in normal five-a-side to score more goals than the opposing team is the aim of the game. So there you go. Penalty shoot, you can have penalty shoots out, tackling. You can be offside, you can be offside in five-a-side. I didn't know you could be offside. There's your players. There's your ball there. See the ball, white ball on, on a flat face. And shooting cards. So there you go, shooting cards, try a banana shot from the far top corner, throw three, five or a six to score. So depending on where you are in the shooting score, the shooting zone, you can throw the dice to actually score the goal. So there you go. Soccer Supremo, simple, but it's just simple that anyone can play. It's not like the trivia game, is it, where it's for younger younger fans, it's not perhaps as good because you, you won't know a lot of the answers. But uh, 
Yeah, and you can play with this. If you, if you ever watch any of my board game reviews, I always tweak the rules as well. You can, no matter what the rules are for these games, you can always tweak them and, and alter them. I mean, you can uh, modernise and make them more in line with what's happening today with VAR and stuff like that. It's always, it's always good fun because you, you get a game which has been tested and proven to work. Uh, which is fantastic, but then you can always tweak tweak the rules a little bit for yourself, you know, which is which is brilliant. There you go, Soccer Supremo. So there you go, five things. So the games are good. Uh, the other three things, I mean, I think I think the uh, I think that uh, <laughs> that scarf's the best, isn't it? <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's not a scarf, is it? I don't know, I don't know what you call it, but uh, I mean, this thing is fantastic. As I said, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes open for that. I'll, next time I go to the Etihad, I'm going to see Come on, City, Come on, City. I think that's my favourite. So it made me laugh anyway because I, I was trying to think out how, how does it work. I couldn't figure out how to how to to do it. It's like a nice little armband as well, isn't it? There you go, little little armband for you. Obviously, a different size. Yeah. Yeah, great. That yeah. I think if we do a blue moon with that next time, we're sorted, aren't we? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> a little bit different this time. First time I opened a couple of games on, on this as well. So uh, hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, I'm, break, I'm breaking the thing now. Hope you enjoyed Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, my appreciation to these guys for giving me the incentive to do it. And thanks for joining me for this. Not got now got the fan world of Manchester City. Some things I'd rather perhaps I shouldn't have found. But a good, good fun doing it, isn't it? Anyway, that's, that's as simple as that. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do with us today? Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Until we meet here again on the Citizen Channel, or perhaps have a flit across, have a look at my film and TV channel. All I ever ask is please stay safe, Blues. Thanks for watching. Come on, City. Bye for now.